Yes, this is true. Tiny Montenegro is being co-opted by NATO to become yet another American base on Russia's footstep. Remember, this was a country once unlawfully attacked by NATO. They bombed them, they killed their children, uh, they destroyed their ports and infrastructure, and now the Mafia Prime Minister of Montenegro is trying to get his nation into the NATO. Now, I know I am not Montenegrins, and it is not exactly my place to intervene, but hear me, my Montenegrins brothers. I too am a Yugoslav, and I am from Slovenia, a member of NATO. They will bleed you dry. They will take your men and boys as cannon fodder, and they will use your country as a base to attack your fellow Slavs. Please, my Montenegrin brothers, do not join NATO. It is a mistake. They are a terrorist organization and they too attacked you. They attacked your people. Your women and children were under attack uh, via a NATO terrorist action because Mr. Clinton thought it would be fun. There are all the rational reasons to support joining NATO. Uh, probably some people will find it emotionally difficult to accept, given uh, 17 years ago the NATO intervention in the region. Also... Oh yes, that nice, wonderful and peaceful intervention of NATO in the region, as you put it, 17 years ago. Think about it. It was a terrorist action against your nation and now you and your Prime Minister are forcing Montenegro into this terrorist organization. Look, the NATO intervention in the region was against the UN decision not to intervene. It also circumvented the Security Council of the UN. This was NATO acting on its own without the mandate of Yugoslavia at the time, or the mandate of the United Nations. It was a terrorist action by a world power. Uh, some people cherish a traditional relationship with, with Russia, other countries. Nowadays they think that joining NATO means uh, picking sides. NATO is not about picking sides. NATO it most definitely is about picking sides. NATO was created to guard the free world from the Soviet threat in Europe. It was created to protect the after World War II to protect the countries uh, of the uh, Western Bloc uh, from imminent Russian invasion. And well, nowadays NATO is just continuing its mission, but uh, instead of just protecting Belgium and Netherlands. Uh, it's actually attacking Russia, slowly take foothold by foothold, surrounding our Russian brothers and aiming missiles at Moscow. And if Montenegro joins NATO, it will just be another missile silos for these terrorists. It is about expanding security umbrella, it's about collective defense and, and, and security, and therefore every country... Defense against who? Because last I checked, NATO was the aggressor in the region and in the general world stage, especially their um, strongest member, the United States. They are the universal aggressors. You need protecting from NATO. You do not need to be protected by the aggressor. That's like giving a flock of sheep to a wolf to protect them from being eaten. Uh, that wants to join should join, and we believe that it is a good, good choice for Montenegro. The nation of Montenegro does not want to join NATO. Even the fabricated public opinion polls uh, that were paid for by the government cannot fabricate the data so much to show that uh, the majority of Montenegrins want to join NATO. Not even government propaganda is able to do that.
Well, I got mixed feelings about it because I know there's a bit of uh, history with Montenegro and NATO because of the 90s, the 99 bombings, but also there's a good side because of the safety that the NATO alliance provides. Safety especially for our borders because Montenegro is in the heart of the Balkans. Which one of your borders? Montenegro has currently a border dispute with Croatia, and Croatia is also a NATO member. Uh, Croatia is also known for not sticking to what the courts say about the border, so good luck with the security of that border. You also border Albania, who is so friendly. And let me remind you, Albania is NATO's pet. And the objective of NATO is to expand Albania, or at least so it seems, uh, when you look at the occupied territory of Kosovo, who you also border. The only secure border you have is with the non-NATO member, Serbia, who still to this day resists joining NATO and will forever do so, who also was born by NATO, as was Montenegro at the same time over Kosovo, which you border, and which is currently occupied by NATO. So, look, you are looking for security at NATO, the only threat to your security in the region. Fucking hell. We've seen past uh, half a year or a year a steady growth uh, of, of support. Uh, now all the relevant opinion polls talk. Of course all the government conducted opinion polls are showing that you, people want to join NATO. But I dare you, the Montenegrin government, I dare you, go to a referendum, a statewide referendum, when all the old people show up, when all the young people show up, and you cannot pick and choose who you are going to interview in Podgorica. Talk about widening the gap in favor of, of NATO membership. And that shows also that this commitment to explain to people, to make it closer to them, and their understanding pays off. And eventually people look towards the future rather than uh, yesterday. Ah, uh, yes, the future, where you send thousands of your own men and what, what's it now, 2.5% of your GDP off to Americas or off to find some other war for America. So Syria is now popular. Uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, they still are sending our people there as cannon fodder. And you want to send your own men and boys to fight America's wars. You, sir, and your boss are despicable and evil. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed and I encourage all my viewers in NATO member states to join the struggle to disband NATO or to, for at least their country to exit NATO. Bye.